Hello everyone, I'm Zath and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be 5 manga series that I want to start reading in 2023. Not all of these are brand new series, some are older, but either way they are series I want to read and add to my growing library. So now sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's talk about some manga. Before we start into the new titles, let's see how I did on last year's list. Hell's Paradise by Yuji Kaku Not starting off strong, I was not able to start this series. Not for not wanting to, but I just didn't have the time or funds. I hope I can get my hands on this title in 2023. Better late than never! Love of Kill by Fee Oh, for 2. I sort of forgot about this series until the end of the year and already spent over my budget so I wasn't able to read this series. Hopefully I can rectify this in 2023. Golden Kamui by Satoru Noda. Finally we reached something I did read! I picked up the whole series that was out last year. Golden Kamui was one of my favorite titles that I read in 2022. A terrific series. Colorful characters, a great story, delicious food, solid historical fiction, and everyone's favorite, Saichi Sugimoto. A Bride Story by Kaoru Mori I know it looks bad, but I was torn between this series and another Yen Press title, Erased. I went with Erased. At least Erased was a great series! It's not a good excuse for missing out on more of Kaoru Mori's artwork and story. I am sorry. Slam Dunk by Takahiko Inoue I grabbed the other Takahiko Inoue basketball story reel to read last year instead. It was a terrific series, and with the reprints of Slam Dunk, I'm sure it'll be easier to read this series this year. All in all, not a great score. I was 1 for 5 out of the previous year's manga to read list. But it's a new year! All those manga aren't going anywhere. So let's add more to the TBR pile. Otoman by Aya Kano This is a complete series published in English by Viz Media. This is from the same mangaka who produced Requiem of the Rose King, which I have personally not read. The art style looks amazing though, and it's partly the reason why I'm interested. The story is about a guy who likes to do things that are deemed girly, such as sewing, knitting, and reading shoujo comics. <laughs> As if guys reading shoujo manga makes them girly, please. To combat this, the main lead tries to act as much like a masculine jock as he can. Meanwhile, our female lead can't do anything a girl is supposed to do, like bake. And she only likes the manliest of men. I can already picture the hilarity that may ensue. The manga sounds like a bit of a role reversal in which each of our main leads are not following strict gender rules, i.e. girls are supposed to do this and boys are supposed to do that sort of thing. I'm all about stepping outside of gender norms. On or Off by A1 This title is published in English by Tokyopop. This adult manhwa was originally published on Tappy Tunes, so please be mindful of the age rating. I really want to try and read more webtoons and manhwa this year. The art style is certainly different, but I'm not put off by it in the slightest. It has a soft vibe to it, and I really like the colors of the front cover. The story is about a young man in a startup business with his college friends. They get an opportunity to present their proposal to a large corporation. I'm sure attraction will ensue, for the title is called On or Off After All. She Loves to Cook and She Loves to Eat by Sakomi Yukazi. This series is published in English by Yen Press. This is a GL story with two older women. From the summary alone, it sounds like they have a healthy, loving relationship and I'm here for it. I hope it will actually be wholesome content and not bait. I've been hurt too many times. The Other World's books depend on the bean counter by Kazuki Iridori. This series is published in English by Yen Press. This manga is an adaptation of the light novel by Wakatatsu Yakusuki. An isekai BL story? Sign me up, please! This could be everything I've ever dreamed of for a different type of isekai story. 
Blue Lock by Yusuke Nomura. This series is published in English by Kodansha. The art style pulled my interest to this series. The other thing is a battle royale style sports manga. It certainly has a different vibe than the all, let's all be friends and work hard to make it to nationals. And that, my friends, are five titles I hope to start in 2023. Thank you all so much for watching. Have you read any of these series or have any additional recommendations? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you all in the next video. I'm Zath. Have a good day.